Hello and welcome, Paul here. And today I am looking for wood. So yeah, I want to continue on with this village, but I've run out of wood. Of course I didn't bring any with me, so I'm having to run all the way back on my lonesome to get some more, so that is my story. Wait a second. So we have that those two uh, villages, uh, villages, two houses there, and um, I've been complaining quite a bit about how it's unsuitable for an entire village, and that's behind those houses because the terrain's all over the place. Which just hit me. Why do I have to go behind those uh, houses? Why can't I come forward? Because I mean that is all relatively flat. That sounds like a really good idea. Almost like common sense. But, uh... Yeah, that's in uh, short supply on this uh, video series, so... I'll uh, give that a go. I'll st basically, I'll build a path down, so that it just can get up and down, and uh, it should work out nicely. But first... I need to get up here, get me some wood. Oh no, poor chicken. Poor chicken. Alright, first thing I'm going to do is quickly check my chest, make sure I've got no logs or anything like that kicking around. And I still haven't updated my Minecraft yet, so there's no different coloured wooden planks. I will get around to doing that, I'm still waiting for John Smith. I know someone's made a uh, terrain uh, texture for it, but uh, I'll just wait until John Smith actually uh, hooks it up, so uh, I won't find any won't find any wood in my workbench, so anything in here? Nope. Alright, let's get rid of the raw beef rotten flesh wheat gunpowder Take that. What else? What else do we want? Nothing. Okay, let's move on. I'm going to have to uh, cannibalize these trees up here because I don't want to touch my jungle just yet. Uh, I mean, the jungle looks really nice, so I don't want to sort of spoil it shape-wise. Hell, I could always bring it out and just cover this whole little uh, hill here. Be, uh, kind of interesting. Let's grab all this wood. That should be enough for what I need anyway. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and collect a few uh, saplings so I can actually plant some trees out in the desert. <laughs> and then uh, I won't have to run back and forth. So, bear with me. Okay, we are back at this village. So, as you can see, it's fairly flat around this area and very flat down there. Now, I started making this little uh, walkway to get down. There is that. I could always move it if need be. So, what I would like to do, in fact, before I do anything else, bugger, 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 bugger. So, I went all the way back and I didn't bring any bloody seeds, did I? Again. Son of a gun. Oh well, what are you going to do? Let me just go ahead and... This is only a temp solution in terms of uh, wood gathering. This is not the house. In fact, where are all the... Uh... This was the house I started building. But where... Oh, there's one. Where's the rest of them? Okay. Oh, there's one. Okay, that's two. Two villagers. Where are the rest of you hiding? He looks in a pretty, uh... He looks like he's stranded, actually. That's not good. Alright. We got some wood. 
and I'm thinking I'm going to use up all this wood here making these stairs of course Okay. Oh, of course I don't have a pick. So this is the slow and stupid way of doing this. Oh you pillock. Okay. So before I do anything else, before I mess up anything else, I should say. I need I need, I need, a pick. There we go, we've got plenty of sticks now. Let's go ahead and make a couple. That will last us. Get the bucket out of the road. Sorted. It's going dark already. Wonderful. Barely a chance to do anything. So let's just go ahead and get rid of all these. fill this back in. However the good thing is I can take up some of the gravel. Oh god I thought it was a creeper then. <laughs> Don't ask why. Okay. Don't actually have too many stairs left. So let's just go ahead and double this side up. It's getting dark. Do I have a, a torch handy? Ow. That was not cool. Uh, I better get up to top. In case zombies. That's got two doors, I don't want to fend off two doors. This is a bit better. Okay. We are safe here. So I just need to wait out the night again, so bear with me. Okay, it's morning again. Had a few zombies try and uh break down this door out to leave this house to come save him just gonna quickly scout the area I don't want to be attacked by a... oh there's another one oh I got your bat mate zombie scum just wanna make sure there's no lurking creepers closest creeper I see is over there Okay, so this is the house I started on. It's pretty well identical to the these ones here. I was just wanting to uh, sort of continue the style. Uh, I need to sort something out here though. This is a bit of a mess. To be honest, not quite sure how I'm gonna do this. In fact, would this work? Can you put a door on top of a stair? Nope. Okay, well, that's out the window. At least if it's inside actually, it means zombies can't... The only way a zombie can break this door down is if they all get up here, rather than there could be a few of them even on the sides here smashing it. At least I think they can, I don't know. Hmm. I 
as nice as this looks. I'd have an easier time if I just use wooden stairs every time. I should have cut down a lot more wood, but oh well. A lot more trees, I should say. That will do. At least here I can put like a slab or like a half block. Like there. Although maybe a slab would look nicer. We'll see, for now. Let's go ahead and stick this last one down. I need to work out what to put underneath here. Although I may worry about that later. So the question is, do I want to continue with this gravel path or not? Truthfully, I do not know. What I do know is I'm going to go ahead and Dig up all this gravel. There we go. Uh, I'll go ahead and fill this in with sand. Kind of tricky uh, building out here because you want it to look good and match. This is kind of a problem. The only option I have here is to lower it one, which isn't really a problem. Well, let's go ahead and do that. Why not? If needed, I could take that top layer of water out. Beats it floating in midair anyway. Oh no, we need that there. Oops, where'd it go? Don't tell me it went down there. Sorted, sorted. This looks perfect for a underground secret entrance to somewhere. Really does. Maybe this will be a, like a tunnel that leads back to my base. Smooth. Wait a tick. I think what I'll do here is go ahead and use a uh, couple slabs because that might look a bit nicer so it's not like one big thick layer. Don't need that many. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. This is actually easier to do, so why not? Let me just give myself a quick boost as soon as I can find. There we go.
And what we can do is Oh, you're kidding me, I didn't make enough. Right, well, I've got an idea, let me show you. We're going to have that middle bit raised up a little bit. We'll use, uh... We'll use these. We'll make, uh... There we go. In fact, why not go ahead and murder this... I'm not never going to be happy with that corner there, but oh well. Gonna need a bit of dirt for this, and it's going to be a different color, but I think that will help it give it a bit of uh, variety. see there so let's go ahead and get rid of that a bit brighter than I'd have liked but oh well so there we go doesn't look like much but at least it's uh, slightly varied I might have to change it, that's a bit too bright. Well, hell, I could use uh, stone slabs, we'll see. I'll see how it looks. So, we can now reach the water. I still need to finish these steps, I'm waiting on those trees to grow. I need to repair this fence. Oh, you silly sod. Uh, completely forgot about this. I'll be curious to see how my uh, basically everything I've built so far with wooden planks looks once I get the new uh, new update on. There'll be like multicolored uh, wooden planks going everywhere. Okay, there's some more wood. I'll come and collect the saplings in a moment. For now, I just want to go ahead and get this finished. Ooh, getting full again. That's not good. I've seen me using stairs quite a bit for rooftops and such, so... However... To that, I will need to make a uh, chest at some point. I wonder, not quite sure how it's going to look. Ooh. Although if that was all the way up it might not it might not look too bad. Hopefully it would be enough to sort of break up how thin it looks, if that makes sense. Could do down the middle, but you're not really gonna see it. Okay, let's get back up. And I want to quickly do the other side. Okay. I'll fill that in later. I want to get the safety for now. Get 
let's go up here. This is where the uh, crafting table is. I want to go ahead and use the rest of the sticks. Make some more fence posts so I can get that one area fixed. See if I can get out without getting aggro. Bugger. Okay. So that's really important to pick up. Okay, come on, come on. Sword. I'm tempted to change that into brick, but for now it doesn't really matter. Okay, we are safe again inside. And with that, I think I'm going to call it for this episode. This village is slowly taking shape. Next, next episode I'm going to finish up that house there. Then we're going to start pushing this way. I'm thinking of using stilts perhaps for some of the uh, houses so they can be sort of multi-leveled. Perhaps at that drop there where the uh, steps are, I'm not sure yet. But that's just an idea. Anyway, that's, just, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching and join in next time.